All right, it's Roxanne, and we are backstage at Ten Man Jam here at the Fillmore. Very excited to have Maddie and Tay hi, joining us. us. Yeah. yeah, first of all, oh, I want to say hi. This is Frank. Hi. Hi, Frank. I'm Frank. <laughs> nice to meet you, girls. <laughs> so we want to say congratulations on your ACM nominations. Thank you. Vocal Duo of Group of the Year and New Vocal Duo Group of the Year. So you, where were you when you found out you were nominated, and how did you react? I don't even remember. I think we were probably both in our separate apartments because it was early in the morning when they yes. made the announcement. It was so we early. Were, yeah, we were home and we were. Yeah. It was early and everyone was blowing up our phones at like 8 a.m. Yeah. Hey, we got two nominations! Oh my gosh! Which so. results in happy dances. So that's how yeah. we reacted. Yeah. There's that's always a, great a happy way to dance. Wake up. Our happy yeah. dances are like ridiculous. Let's see it. Oh yeah, it's get, like, let's see the happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd help, but yeah. we yeah. cut this interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's obvious you girls like you know take some of your influences from other country artists that are you know famous at Hall of Famers, but maybe outside of country, who influences you? Ooh. That's a good question. Um, both of us really love Otis Redding. That's yes. totally random. Otis Redding's like a throwback. Yes. Oh, for sure. Love him. Oh um, I really like this is random, but Colby Calais. Like I know She's her. Amazing. She had like this great record like a couple years ago, and I love her writing and everything. And then John Mayer writing is like Ooh. yeah, John Mayer period but is our favorite. <laughs> our favorite like new artist right now is Tori Kelly and James Bay. Like those yes. are our favorite go tos right now. The on the Grammys was perfect. Yeah, yeah. you guys tweeted because I favored it. Yeah. They crushed it. I was thinking the same thing. Unbelievable I've performance. Never heard that girl miss a note. Honestly, know, she's ever. so good. Yeah. So speaking of the Grammys, if you all had a chance to perform on the Grammy stage, who would you like to collaborate with? Because they team up people with kind of random artists. Like so what like would a pop artists with us? Anyone. Whoever you would want. Anyone, anyone? Anyone, anyone. Could be Elton John, could Justin be Timberlake. Katy Perry. Yeah, I know. I would do Justin Timberlake for sure. Yeah, Justin Timberlake for sure. I saw that coming. Yeah. I totally saw that That's coming. That's a hard one. I mean, he's yeah. just like a He's class a act, incredible. And I think a third part harmony. He has a solid third part harmony, so that would work. I would even actually, this is random too, Jimmy Fallon. Like, would he, do you oh, think he would be up for it? Yeah, but I fun. totally would. Oh, he used to have that music career back in the early I, 2000s. I know, I was watching videos of him and oh, he, he would just play guitar and like. Idiot sing. boyfriend? What? The idiot boyfriend or something? Oh, he had a song called Boyfriend? He had a song called Idiot Boyfriend. Oh. I'm no. an idiot and I'm your boyfriend. Look it up. He would just write parodies. You know what like, I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Jimmy Fallon. I have a celebrity so have crush we not on him. Been on the Tonight Show of Jimmy yeah. Fallon. We have. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. That, yes. We gotta get you back. I know. We we need, we want to do like a little funny segment thing yeah. with him, like the EU segment that he does or like something, because yeah. it's so much fun and maybe with him. Maybe we'll be on the Grammys with him one day. Yeah. Is he as cool, cool as we think he is? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, because sometimes. So much fun! Like you can just tell that he really wants everyone that works with him to just yeah to sure. be happy and love what they do because he yeah. loves what he does. Yeah, that's so awesome. What? Who, who's your favorite person to go on the road with currently? Um, like in the past or like right now? Like or right now, if you were to pick anybody to go on tour with, Dirk Bentley. Yes. We had so much fun on that tour, um, and and not even just Dirks. We love his crew and like everyone. Like we just made them like basically our family. And him and Kit Moore, we had so much fun with those guys, and we'd just have jam sessions yeah. after shows. And, and has three kids, and he has two daughters, and like Aww. we would love to like hang out with them and um, play by the pool and like oh, eat popsicles. So cool. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. We are backstage here at the Ten Man Jam talking to Maddie and Tay. And I want to talk a little bit about when you wrote the song Fly. I know that success at that point was not coming easy. You've been doing what you've been doing for a while. So what kind of songs are you writing now that you're successful and you're out there with your album that's blowing up? So what kind of songs are you inspiring these days to write? You know, it's really funny. Um, because the way, you know, obviously the way it looks after we've had um, Girl in a Country Song and Fly and Fish come out and we're on to our second record now, writing for our second record, it, you know, some days it is very like, oh my gosh, we've made it. We totally feel like we're getting to do what we love and we're very blessed. But, you know, we're still 20 years old and Going don't have things. anything figured out. <laughs> and we're writing everything about that, just writing about being 20 and like kind of in that confusing phase. Yes, we are getting to do what we love, but there's still parts about life that, we're, we're probably not going to figure out for a while. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to write about it. Yeah, and there's yes. a lot of 20-year-old girls that are going through the yeah, same exactly. thing. And Fly is really a song about going through a struggle or tougher time in life. And, you know, no matter who you are, you still go through those times yeah, in your life absolutely. where you're struggling. And um, so it's just it's just cool to get to write the perspective from then and now and see what the different struggles are in life. Right. Well, we can't wait to hear the new album and everything you're working I know, on. We're excited. Um, really quick, I want to ask this question because 
you know, there's this whole bro country, which we love all the guys. So now we, excuse me, have a girl country coming up. Kelsey Ballerini, who's your friend. We have Cam, of course, you guys, uh, Marin Morris, who I love. So let's talk about why are there more cowboys and cowgirls on the radio? I don't know. I think, I feel like it's evening out a little bit because the thing is. I'd agree with that. We, we wrote Girl in a Country Song because the way that women were being portrayed in certain songs was just like super weird for us. We were like, we would never, you know, want to be referred to as a pretty little thing sliding your fine whatever over in my truck. Like, no, that would never fly for us. So that's really where that song came from. And so I feel like. Ever since, you know, we released that song and Kelsey and Cam and all these women and Ashley Monroe, Mar I mean, of course, Miranda and Carrie, but like, I feel like the playing field's evening out a little bit. And it's nice to hear two perspectives on the radio instead of one, just yeah. male dominant, you know. And so now it's like we get to hear the guys, their great songs, but then we also get to hear the girls and their great songs and perspectives. So it's kind of nice to have it even out again. That's yeah. true. It, it definitely has been evening out for sure. Yes. I want to bring it back to what you girls do on like when you have a night when you because you are busy, so you barely ever have nights off where you just do nothing. Right. But when you are chilling and watching Netflix, what's your go-to show? Breaking Bad. Yeah. Right now, for her, it's Breaking Bad. Um, I just started Narcos, so okay, I'm on great. like episode two. I'm yeah. super great. new, but we're like really like researching the whole drug cartel stuff for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but like it's just it's it, it but in a horrible way. Like it's horrible that that actually happens, yeah. but. It's, I like Breaking Bad because you get attached to the characters and, like, the reason why Walter White, like, is doing illegal things is to support his family. And so you wonder, like, how much that applies to all of those situations and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Have you watched so. that Better Call Saul? No, but I'm going to watch it it's after. On Netflix too. I'm only on season three or four or something like that. Yeah, so first. much stuff I need to catch up on. Like, I haven't even finished Once Upon a Time. <laughs> That's our favorite show. We love that show. Yeah. It's so awesome. But One Tree Hill is by far the best yeah, binge watching. I need to watch that and Friday Night Lights. Yeah. We Friday never had, we did not, <laughs> we did not have a high school experience because we started this when we were 15. Right. And so we, like, vicariously live through, or vicariously, vicariously live through the One drama. Tree Hill and no, Friday Night Lights. Girls. I was like, I am Blake Lively. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here at the 10 Man Jam, and we can't wait to see you perform tonight. Maddie and Tay backstage here with WYCD.